This here is the Maxon Design rear side splitter that I have just installed on my 2016 Audi A7. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I install this on my Audi A7. So let's just get right into this. Actually, first, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel to help support my channel and to stay updated on new videos like this that could help you guys out on future installs. Thanks, guys. Here is the uh, Maxon rear side splitters and everything that came with the kit. So you see here, both left and right. Um, side splitters, sticker, hardware for the installation and the installation instruction. And then right next to it is all of the tools that I'll be using to install both of these guys, which includes a 10 millimeter wrench. What size is this? I think this is a four millimeter uh, hex bit socket, a ratchet. I think this is a quarter inch drill bit, a coilless drill. And then I will also be applying some uh, double-sided tape on the uh, uh, side splitter for more adhesion to the car. If you guys are interested in purchasing the Maxton Design rear side splitter for your facelift Audi A7, I will put the link down below in the description of where I bought it from. So let's get started and get these rear side splitters installed on the A7. So the car is a little bit too low and it won't clear the uh, coilless drill. So I'm going to have to jack up the rear end so that I have some clearance. Now let's get this mocked up, which is the first thing that we uh, will need to do. So this uh, rear side splitter is designed specifically for this A7. And you see the group here. It was designed specifically to contour to the uh, bumper of the car. So all you really need to do is line it up right here because it'll, it'll, it'll fit and sit just right, just like this. And all you would need to really do is line this up on this edge here and line it up on this edge. Let's mock it up. Line the two edges up. Now that it's mocked up, I'm gonna figure out my drill points. I'm gonna have four screws on each uh, side splitter, so I'm gonna evenly distribute it. Now that I marked the drill points on the uh, splitter, which I have one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. We can start drilling into the splitter and the bumper. All four holes are drilled. Now it's time to officially mount this side splitter. So let me show you where I drilled each hole. So as you guys can see, I have one right here. Then I have one right here. Then I have one right here. And then I have another one right here. First, wipe this area clean. Apply some double-sided tape to the bottom flat area of the bumper where it will uh, meet the uh, side splitter. Remove protective cover off of the rear splitter. Peel off the red side of the double-sided tape just to initially 
just an, an initial start so that you can pull it off after it's mounted. Now we can start to mount it up. Now that it's initially mounted up, let's pull off the red side tapes. Now we can officially mount it and tighten all of the nut and bolt up. And installation is now complete. Check it out. Uh, looks so much more aggressive. So let me show you the other side where it has not been installed yet. Passenger side, no side splitter. And driver side, side splitter. Nice. Now we're gonna apply the same procedure to the passenger side and I'm gonna finish installing that uh, off camera and then show you guys the rear end with both of them installed. guys passenger side completed both side install this is how it looks so much better and so much more aggressive i really really like this and i definitely recommend it to anyone out there with a facelift audi a7 and that is how i went about installing the maxton design rear side splitter on my 2016 audi a7 if you guys have any further questions about the procedure just comment it down below and i'm trying my best to help you guys out so if you guys are interested in purchasing a set i have put the link down below in the description and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys like how the a7 looks now with the rear side splitters now the next things to install are the uh, side skirts that I also got from Maxlin Design. And if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel to help support my channel and to stay updated on new videos like this that could possibly help you guys out on future installs. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.